Hi guys, my name is Sir Michel and I'm starting a new Man of War tutorial series on YouTube and this is my first video on YouTube too. So to get started we need um, some vehicles first and I'm gonna make a Russian convoy so I'm taking a SIS-5 truck and a SIS-5 fuel truck and a SIS-5 engineering truck and an armored car which can drive in front of the convoy maybe a BA-64 then we need some infantrymen um, some riflemen will do it so two for this truck two for this then some more for this truck and two more for this PA 64. Uh, two. <laughs> so, okay, then let's mount the one here. Oh. Okay. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Okay, then we will give them each uh, each one of these vehicles an individual tag. So this PA gets simply his name. Then truck one, truck two. Then we give all these vehicles um, the hidden tag, so they are not visible at the start of the mission. Then we want to create our waypoints, so our starting waypoint will be here. We reduce the radius to 100, so the convoy will stay on the road. And then we will simply copy the waypoints with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So we can yeah, copy the um, the radius. So it's a little bit faster. So now we simply lay out the the way the the tr uh, convoy will take in in the mission. Um need some time. So and now we select the last waypoint and give it the delete command. So every car that reaches this waypoint um will get deleted and it will look like um it exited the map. Okay. Now we will start with the trigger. Um trigger will simply be named convoy in this case and I want to do it like this that in the front a uh, um, armored car is driving and then behind it there will be 15 trucks and they will be randomly chosen so maybe if the mission, the mission is started the first time there will be f three f fuel trucks at first and two engineering trucks and the second time there could be one fuel truck, two of these infantry trucks, then uh, an engineering truck and so on. So it's randomly um, generated. So at first we will take a waypoint for the armored car. Um, we choose Hector here, then we choose the tag, it's BA-64 and the waypoint it's zero in this case so the starting waypoint then we um, check on clone so this car gets um, uh, cloned over here um, with the save teleport and rotate command so um, the car gets placed from from there to here and then starts driving um, the waypoints okay then we need an a loop because we want to have 15 trucks now following so f we want this loop to run 15 times and inside this loop we want to switch command so we can 
um, switch between these three trucks um, based on a random number generator. So we add the first case for the first truck. So every vehicle needs, needs its own case. Um, and inside, we uh, uh, in this case, we choose random. And now I want this that every vehicle has the same chance to appear. So for the fir first vehicle, we need 33% 30 chance. So it's 0 0.33. Um, so this 0 0.33 is 33%. Then we add inside um, our waypoint command for the first vehicle. It's truck 1. Then again the same waypoint 0, clone and approach, safe teleport and rotate. So then we want to copy these cases. So we have for every vehicle one case. And for for the next um, vehicle the the value be will be sixty three sixty six percent and for the last vehicle it will be one so one hundred percent. So we could use default here too, but it's easier with copying. Um so we si simply choose hundred percent. Um then we adjust this here to wave uh, to truck two and here to truck three. Then we need a uh, in this loop um, command. We need a delay so that the vehicles uh, oh, so that the um, vehicles don't um, spawn on top of each other. So a delay there is five seconds should be enough, and we want to move it on top of the switch command. Um, okay, then there's one last thing to do. We want to um, find the car with the slowest speed. So we have the BA64, he has a speed of 40, then the CIS, had a CIS truck had a has a speed of 36, uh, this fuel truck 2 and this engineering truck 2. So the slowest speed is 36 and we will uh, have to adjust this in the first waypoint. So all cars, dr all cars um, drive on the same speed and yeah, they stay together when the convoy starts. So we add here the actual state command and add here the slowest speed and here. Okay. Um, so now our cars will stay together. And that's it. Now let's save. So after we have saved our mission, we can now test the mission. So let's start it up. Or let's test our script. So the VA drives the road. this a little bit up so we can see if the cars get deleted correctly. They're still appearing here. Okay, it's the last, the last truck. Okay. And yeah, the cars are getting deleted correctly. So that's it. Our first convoy is successful. Okay, this was the first part of the convoy tutorial. In the next part I will cover how to make a mission out of this in, in special so you have to intercept the convoy and destroy it. Okay, um, bye, until next time.